Years ago, at a Cook's Country outing, no less, I witnessed my first ice pack failure when two of them burst open inside a cooler filled with brining fresh hams. It was a real bummer to see those hams floating about in the blue liquid, but it did inspire us to do a testing of ice packs. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't at that oh, retreat. <laughs> such a bummer. Okay, we did do an ice pack testing, Julie. You can see that we have eight products here. Mm -hmm. The price range was about $3.50 up to almost $30. We got the largest size that we could get from every manufacturer. Two of them were ice blankets. Yeah. I mean, like that. They're <laughs> meant to line the bottom of your cooler. Mm. This one's filled with water. Oh. Everything else was filled with a proprietary non-toxic coolant designed to keep things as cold as frozen water does, but it's antibacterial. So of course we ripped them open and <laughs> poured them out. And I have some of that stuff here. Not snacks, Julia, not <laughs> snacks. Do not eat. <laughs> Do not eat. Gotcha. Check out the blue one first. All right. Oh, it's very thick. Almost like gelatin that's not quite set up. And check out the green one. Let's see. With a color or something else. <laughs> it looks like scope to me. <laughs> it kind of does look like mouthwash. <laughs> to test these, testers put them in the freezer, froze them for 24 hours, and then used thermocouples and temperature tracking software to track their temperature rise from 32 degrees up to 50 degrees. Also to see how they did cooling down measured quantities of 75 degree water. And it was not a huge surprise, actually. The bigger packs did a better job cooling all these things down. But that left testers wondering what happens if you equalize the quantity. Mm -hmm. So they did a second round of testing. They got large rolling coolers, 38 quart capacity. They lined them with the packs, as many as would fit in in a single layer. They put in 24 cans of seltzer and soda at about 40 degrees. With the quantities equalized like that, they all kept the contents of the cooler at 50 degrees or less for at least eight hours. And that's cool for a picnic or a tailgate mm -hmm. or a party. The ones that got above 50 degrees for the soda and the seltzer first mm -hmm. were the ice blankets. Yeah, the blankets. They lasted for less than 24 hours. All of the other ice packs kept things cool for 24 hours or longer. Oh, wow. Guess which one was the best? Uh, I'm going with this guy. Okay. What I didn't reveal to you before is they also filled a cooler with ice just to compare <laughs> and see what happens. And Sneaky. it was the winner. You're kidding. I am not kidding oh, you. Oh, man. Plain old fashioned ice. It cooled the drinks down to 33 degrees, kept them cool for 36 hours. Oh my goodness. It was great. The best way to keep the contents of your cooler cool is with good old fashioned ice. Oh wow. Obviously it melts, it yeah. makes a mess. Yep. You have to have the time to go to the store and get it. Mm -hmm. But it's cheap, it's $2.99 for 10 pounds roughly. And you know, as it melts, it turns into super chilled water, which totally envelops the contents of your cooler. Right. Does get it wet, but there's no air pockets to get warm. Right. If you don't want to bother with the ice, mm -hmm. if you want to keep the contents of the cooler dry and you want to go with an ice pack, Size really matters. Okay. Go with the biggest one you can get. And the in our case, the green one. The green one. That is the Arctic Ice Alaskan series, the extra large size. I like, Got a handy dandy handle. I like the handle. Five pounds, cost $20.99. All right. And it's reusable, obviously, yes. so that over time, the more you use it, it becomes a little less expensive. All right, so there you have it. None of these were able to beat a plain old bag of ice, but if you want a reusable ice pack, choose the Arctic Ice Alaskan Series Extra Large at just $20.99. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>